Bow down to the, bow down to the night. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling and it's AEW Collision Time and it's time to break down the ratings and talk about the ratings of AEW Dynamite. Of course yesterday we brought you Smackdown, Smackdown was not too good, the ratings were pretty poor but no need to fear because AEW Dynamite or Collision Sorry is here and They've actually got some decent, well I say decent ratings, right? When the ratings get so low, they have to bounce back. So it's not a decent rating, but compared to last week, it's, it's better. It's better, how about we call it that, alright? How about we call it that? We'll get into the clips a wee bit later on. But in terms of the numbers, folks, I hear you saying, what were the numbers? Well, my friends, alrighty oh. This number did 347,000 viewers on the 21st of September. A 0.2 or 0.12 in 1849. So, again, diddy numbers there. Diddy numbers all around. I can't even believe I'm fucking talking about this shite. But here we are. Um, now, this episode compared to last week did 268,000 viewers. Um, so, that was last week. This week. Obviously, I've already said 347, so it's up 29% for everyone that can do quick maths. You can do it that quick, man, I don't even know what to say. Um, then this episode versus trailing four weeks, it's actually up 4%. So when, when you compare it to the trailing four weeks, it's up 13, 14%. So it warrants the green arrows, folks, absolutely. But when you look at what they're averaging to this time last year, they are down 28%, which means the rating last week was down 50%, more than 50%. The rating last week was down, let me just work out how much it was down last week. 29% and 28%. When you're looking at, you're looking at a big percentage that it was down last week, man, compared to 2023. I don't, I don't like hearing excuses, man. It's a wrestling show. You should be trying to put on a show that can outdraw anything. That should be it. That should be everybody's objective on TV. You know what I mean? Some things achieve it. Some things certainly don't. As for what's happening here, well, it's pretty poor. And in terms of the comparisons with the, with um, just the month of September, it's down twenty nine percent as well. So no matter what way you spin it, AW compared to this time last year, the numbers are absolute gash. But uh, at episode. Last week compared to uh, this week in the 18 to 49 is actually up by 50%. I mean, that's pretty big numbers. But when you were so low to begin with, can we really honestly be that surprised? But what were the factors behind this? Well, let's look at the clips, shall we? We love looking at the YouTube clips. You can't get enough of the YouTube clips here. So, obviously, the opening match, which consisted of Sammy Guevara. And Dusty, well not Dusty Rhodes, certainly not Dusty Rhodes, man, Dustin Rhodes. Sorry, Dusty, uh, they were taking on the Undisputed Kingdom in a bunkhouse match. I mean, there were some spots, ladders, crazy things going on here. Um, I just think it's a weird tag team that these two are working together, but it is what it is. Only 96,000 views, but I say only 96,000 views. Definitely one of the higher rated things on the show, so again... How bad can it really be, Troops? How bad can it really, really be? Up next, we've got the Congo Mation joining forces with Hologram to face off the Premier Athletes. You guessed it, one of the lowest rated clips on the show. Only 37,000 people. Are we surprised, though? No, I mean, come on, man. It's the, it's the Congo Mation, man. It's a bunch of jobbers at the end of the day. No one's really... Caring all that much, to be honest about it. Um, then up next with AW's Women World Champion Mariah May battling Lady Frost for Grand Slam. This did fifty eight thousand viewers again. Diddy numbers, diddy numbers to say the least, but better than the thirty seven k before it. Then with Darby Allen facing Evil Uno before his match against John Moxley at Grand Slam. The title of this video is what's got the highest views of the show here with 135k because they've put Darby Allen in it and then they've mentioned the whole fact that he's taken on Moxley at Grand Slam. Um, Serena Deeb 
135,000 viewers, by the way. Serena Deeb seeking to teach Queen Amanita a lesson. 42,000 viewers. The thumbnail is just Serena Deeb sitting on top of Queen Amita in a weird, sort of decrepit way. Um, almost a bit, almost a bit bizarre. Then we had an all-star tag team match. FTR, the Outrunners, and Hook against the Beast Mortos. The grizzled young veterans, Rush and Roderick Strong. What an absolute mouthful that is. That only drew 52,000 views. All-star 10-man tag, man. All-star 10-man tag, and it, drew, it gets 52,000 views. Now, I can't, can't be all that all-star about it, man. It's only doing those sort of views. Um, Nigel McGuinness demands his challenge to be answered. This, in fact, was what 93,000 viewers I mean it's like the second highest clip on the show but you would probably expect a wee bit more um, you know you, you would probably expect a wee bit more for Big Nigel McGuinness wouldn't you of course you would I would expect a wee bit more from the man but no no getting him no getting him, absolutely not a chance and that guys, we're going to end this so 3, 4, 7 the numbers are up but uh, the reality is it's not good, when you're rating we're shite what can you do?